pussy hats. Jack Pool Plaza was awash in pink hats of all kinds as the crowd gathered for the Vancouver version of the Women's March on Washington this afternoon. Women, children and men arrived carrying signs and chanting slogans to show their solidarity with a march that started as a reaction against U.S. President Trump's derogatory comment about female anatomy that aired during his campaign. They let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. I can do anything. The message of the march grew to include much more. This is a pussy hat. In fact, there was a link with a pattern on how to make this hat on the website for the Women's March on Washington. It was so that women could have a cohesive look as they banded together for this march. Also, it was an opportunity for women who couldn't attend the march to make these hats and donate them to the women who could. I rode the bus down here by the third stop. It was packed with marchers, and I needed something to feel good about. It's easy if you sit alone to believe you're the only one that still believes that everybody has a human right, no matter what that right is. Today, to stand in solidarity with all the other people here, men, women, and children, that are, are you know, don't want to go back 300 years. I saw. I'm here to represent all of my girlfriends. I'm here to represent my sister who is uh, gay, and I'm here to represent my brother who's gay. I'm here to represent the LGBT community. I think that is super incredibly important. Just this morning, it was discovered that after only hours in office, the Trump administration had already scrubbed the White House website of the pages previously devoted to climate change, LGBTQ rights, civil rights, and health care. The march was led by a large group of sacred drummers led by indigenous group Daughters of the Drum. The route took over 15,000 marchers through the financial district and circled back to the plaza and Canada Place. Organizers see this as the first of many such demonstrations to come. Deborah Power in Vancouver for Power Media.